In this video, I will take you along on a photography and filmmaking assignment to Mozi Earth's Flat Plain Forest project location in Slovakia. The first part of the video will show you our visit during the April flooding, when two days of rain didn't stop us from getting footage of deer, woodpeckers, egrets, cormorants, swans, pheasants, many different species of snails, insects and more. In two days we spent over 24 hours in the forest and walked over 25 kilometers. In August, when we visited the location for the second time, we changed our approach a little bit, which yielded some amazing footage of beavers, kingfishers, butterflies, a frog getting eaten by a snake, dragonflies, swans and ducks. And we also went underwater to check what was lurking beneath the surface. On both occasions, we also recorded the pristine sounds of nature as we left our microphone rig strapped to a tree for a few days and let's just say it recorded some unbelievable sounds that you will get to hear during the video. This is going to be a long one, packed with stunning footage of the Danube floodplains. So get yourself a cup of coffee or tea and let's dive in! Hi everyone and welcome to Slovakia. I'm here on a two-day assignment for the Mozi Earth, um, filming and photographing wildlife at their project location, the floodplain forest. Now you heard me said Slovakia, right? But you might be thinking, Patrick, you are from Slovakia. No, that's Slovenia. I'm from Slovenia and now we are in Slovakia. Yeah, it's two different countries and the fact that the flags are almost identical doesn't make it any easier. Upon arrival, we first wanted to explore the area for a while, to get a better sense of the surroundings. With our wellies on, we slowly progressed through the wet and misty forest, photographing and filming small birds that we saw along the way. Soon the path turned towards the Danube river and we filmed aigrettes and cormorants. I approached as slowly and quietly as possible in the hope that I would get to see the beaver. As of this point, I've never seen a beaver in real life, so there's no need to explain how excited I was. The trees showed clear signs of a beaver's presence. Beavers are also called ecosystem engineers. By felling trees, they build dams that restrict water flow, which create wetlands used by many other species. Because of their effect on other organisms in the ecosystem, they are a keystone species. Look, a pair of swans. We decided to move on. Next on our plan was to find a location suitable for recording nature sounds. As we walked around, searching for an appropriate spot, this heron was circling the skies above us. We soon found the perfect location. A small meadow away from the main paths, deep inside the thick forest, ideal for recording the ambience of the forest and animals. I got the initial idea for this sound recording technique from George Vlad from Mindful Audio. I then modified and improved it through trial and error to better suit my needs. Basically, it's a pair of microphones that create a stereo recording passed through a pair of inline microphone preamplifiers 
into an audio recording device powered by a power bank and protected from the environment so I can leave it outside for days or even weeks and let it record hundreds of hours of sounds. The whole rig is attached to a tree or left on a tripod and camouflaged so passers-by don't notice it. Besides the forest ambience filled with birds chirping, occasionally mixed with light rain, we also recorded roe deer, owl, woodpecker and wild boar. Alright, the microphones are set up now and uh, we are continuing our search. We managed to film the woodpecker already and some other birds. Now we are going back to the car. We will take our camouflage tent and uh, move closer to the location where the flooded forest is. The abundance of water also brought out a diverse range of snail species. It's through this channel that the water comes to the forest, where it spills out and floods it. This part of the forest is so much nicer. There is so much life here. Hey future Patrick, I hope the weather is better and that you managed to film something. Hi there, yeah, the weather is much nicer, but the mosquitoes are everywhere. Regarding the animals, I got pretty lucky. Let me show you. As you can see behind me, we've set up the tent and it's ready for tonight and tomorrow morning uh, we will sit inside and uh, wait for animals to show up. It's very close to the, to the canals where the water is, so I'm pretty sure that uh, something will show up and we will manage to record it. Um, as you can hear, the ambience here is amazing. Um, I can hear no cars, no airplanes, nothing, just pure nature, pure silence and birds and all the things that should be here and should be heard uh, and I'm so happy. We already saw the roe deer and the red deer and we also saw three small wild uh, boars so uh, this area is full of life. We also constantly hear the calls of the pheasants so uh, yeah right now so we decided to uh, spend a few hours just going around and uh, exploring the area, trying to find some animals. And then in the evening we will sit in the height, as I already mentioned. It didn't take long for me to spot more wildlife. The rain was on and off for a whole day, but now it started pouring much more intensely. So uh, I am walking back to the tent and we will probably stay there until it uh, stops raining again. 
the jacket is waterproof, the pants are waterproof, I'm wearing boots, the gear is reasonably waterproof, but I don't want to soak the microphone. And just like that, the rain stopped before I even made it to the tent. Maybe I was just being a little soft. We kept exploring and looking for animals. I soon noticed this large bird flying above us. Can you help me identify it? Write it down in the comments. It's fascinating how high it can go, even reaching the clouds. Now it's time to head into the tent prepare the cameras and wait for any photographic opportunities. It didn't take long for this woodpecker to show up and start looking for worms. Alright, sure, we miss the rain anyway. Just before it got too dark for us to keep filming, this male roe deer showed up and peacefully grazed in the middle of the meadow. I value this kind of shots the most, because the animal had no clue we were there so I captured its natural behavior. Twelve hours and twelve point five kilometers later, we are done for today. I'm so freaking tired. And we repeat that tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. The sunrise holds great promise. Let's see how the day goes. Good morning. Today we are starting off the day without rain and with a gorgeous sunrise. The light is stunning and uh, we are already on our way to to the photography hide. We could be here a few minutes earlier but uh, the nature is just waking up and uh, I think we will have a great day. The hide was waiting for us where we left it. We quietly settled in as the nature around us was starting to wake up. We patiently waited, but nothing showed up. So we decided to check the forest to see if the water had already spilled over and into it. Check this out, 
yesterday the water was still inside the canal and today we arrived here at the floodplain forest and everything is underwater. Just look at that. All the trees behind me, they are slowly getting soaked. In the coming days the water will keep rising and more and more trees will be submerged. Hi, I hope you're still watching. As you can see, it's not April anymore and it's not raining anymore. And by the magic of video, we just jumped 4 months from April to August. I am back at the Mozzie Earth Flood Plain Forest project location and I am still here, uh, or again here, to photograph and film even more animals and explore this um, beautiful nature here and have as much fun as possible. As you can see we've been lugging around this heavy equipment for some time now and you might already be wondering what the plan is. Well, we are headed to the place where we should be able to find the beaver. We are now walking there slowly because of the heavy equipment and uh, when we reach the destination we have the tent ready and also all the equipment that we need to hopefully spot and film them. And so far we've spotted many kingfishers, so I'm also hoping for some good uh, kingfisher photography. This here is only a part of uh, the Danube river, but wow, it's huge. We quickly set up all our gear, because we wanted to stay fairly unnoticed by the beavers. The beavers didn't leave us waiting for long. As you can see, I was really excited to see them for the first time. I am not completely sure how many of them were there, but I know there were at least two or three individuals. By now the beaver has uh, swam past us three times and uh, I managed to ferment some. I'm really happy. Okay, so the beaver is inside of Their den was located on the opposite side of the river. This one was headed into the den for dinner. <laughs> Thank you. 
and this one decided to swim to the other side of the fallen trees and away from us. Luckily, another one showed up and we again got something to film. This shot here is definitely my favorite. The beaver came out of the water for a short time and we were able to get a good view of its whole body. After a few seconds, it returned to the water and proceeded to do the beaver stuff. Alright, so we are done for today. Um, it's gotten so dark that we can't film anymore and now we will pack our bags and uh, slowly head towards our apartment. We really like this location and we just made a plan to come back at least once more to um, try to get the beavers in even better light. Now the mosquitoes are trying to eat me so let's finish this and see you tomorrow. The forecast showed clear skies. So we decided to do some astrophotography as well. Here are the results. It's the next morning and we are already back. First stop, butterflies and spiders. Alright, now we reached the spot where we will set up our sound recording drop rig. Um, we will head in this direction inside this small little forest and I will show you how I set it up. Uh, the plan is to leave it here. When I was here in April I left it um, in this direction inside the forest and now I want to record some different sounds so I will leave it in this place um, because it's in the middle of the meadow and I expect maybe some uh, red deer calls and so on. While I set up the drop rig, you can listen to the sounds it recorded. I would recommend listening with a pair of headphones. Rick is set up, it's recording and I'm very much looking forward to hearing what it records. The nature here is just amazing, there's so much forest, meadows, so many animals and I'm very much looking forward to hearing what 
it records so uh, the plan is to return in the evening to this uh, area here with uh, both cameras and all other gear and we will stay here for a few hours actually until it gets dark and uh, try to record and photograph animals that are here guys I just filmed a frog getting eaten by a snake so <laughs> if such content uh, disturbs you maybe skip next minute or two of this video We were walking by, going back to the car, when I heard the screams of a frog and I stopped and looked for a minute or two and then I saw it, um, I don't know the which species it was, but yeah, it was a lunch for a snake. So. Now it's time to go and take some rest before we return in the evening. Okay, it's a few hours later. We are back at the forest. We just uh, arrived, took our gear and now we are walking towards the flooded forest. Alright, as you can see, we are finally set up and ready to go into the tent and stay quiet and um, well, wait for the animals. Um, I also set up the GoPro behind the tent so you will be able to see what we are seeing and I will also bring this camera inside the tent so I will show you the, the cameras, the settings and uh, all the behind the scenes. This time I'm working on a Nikon Z6 and Sigma 150-600mm Sport while my dad is using the Nikon D500 and Sigma 70-200mm Sport. I am also using a Sennheiser microphone. All the gear is also linked in the description.
Except for the birds, we didn't get to photograph any other animals. Tell me in the comments if you have any advice on what we might have done wrong. It might be just bad luck, but still. Should the tent be more hidden? Or should we cover the lenses sticking out better? I am open to tips and suggestions. Hi everyone and welcome to another day here in Slovakia. Today the plan is a little bit different. Together with my dad we are exploring the flooded forest and today we are going underwater. I am bringing the GoPro, the dome and the light and we will put this uh, under the surface, underwater and leave it filming to hopefully film the fish, amphibians and other little creatures that, that live underwater. I look pretty clumsy here, but I was just being cautious because I didn't want to fall in the water while being on camera. Well, I was so in the element of putting the rig underwater that I completely forgot to film it. So I promise to show you the whole setup when I will uh, take it out of the water. So yeah, let me show you. So as I said, uh, I've put it just under the surface, um, it's about 10 centimeters deep and um, I'm also using the light because the sun is coming from that direction and uh, if something swims past it, the light will illuminate it just a little bit. As you can see there's so much wildlife here, all the dragonflies and uh, well, million mosquitoes, um, if you look in the water there's lots of fish and right now I I can hear the frogs started um, making their calls so we will now take the camera gear uh, put it on a tripod and try to film and photograph all of it I like how many different dragonflies are here. The blue and red ones look especially good. Alright, that was super fun. I really enjoyed photographing from the from the stream and now we are moving a few meters down the stream because there we saw um, the kingfisher and also the swans and some other animals. I think there are ducks as well. So we are now changing the location just maybe a hundred meters and uh, we will do some photography there as well.
I was so concentrated on filming the swans that I almost didn't notice the kingfisher that landed on a branch on the opposite side of the river. for about an hour and a half so there should be plenty of footage and I hope it uh, <laughs> it filmed something interesting all right here it is let me show you It had a lovely view. I hope uh, the angle of the camera was was good and it captured something. Now I will take it out of the water. Yeah, so the, this is the underwater camera recording rig. I have the GoPro 11 in here and this is the dome that uh, additionally waterproofs it and also allows me to um, record half and half and half if I want to and I have the light attached down here uh, this is the aperture uh, waterproof underwater LED light that uh, helps to illuminate the surrounding um, space underwater if it's necessary and in the back I have more of a DIY solution, um, a metal rod that gets pushed underwater into the mud and holds this setup in place. Like I said, we set up the tent, it's behind me now, my dad is already waiting inside. We got the cameras ready and also the microphone that will be recording, pointing exactly straight at the branch where the kingfisher is sitting. Not right now, but we noticed it sits there quite often. The light is also getting better and better now, so it's time for me to hop into the tent, stay quiet and uh, do some photography. Please, just look at it, such a magnificent bird. The 
The light coming from the side is illuminating the scene so nicely. The kingfisher finally sat on the old tree close to us and we were able to get more close-up footage. Before looking at this footage, I thought this was a beaver, but then I looked more closely and it's a nutria. So this is all for today, see you tomorrow and good night.
kingfishers, backlit with morning light. I couldn't ask for more. I also filmed them diving in slow motion and I really like the results. I think I will do it more in the future. No signs of the beaver yet. Now it's probably also too late for it to show up. Uh, also the sunlight is getting too harsh to them. But uh, I got pretty lucky. I managed to record the other side of the of the river so uh, those are some really nice shots and I got other birds as well so uh, the morning wasn't wasted that's for sure uh, the light was beautiful and uh, the sunrise was just magnificent Now I would like to say a few words about the Moziard. They are a highly skilled and passionate team working on many fascinating rewilding projects that help restore ecosystems and bring back biodiversity. Their projects range from restoring kelp forests, planting native trees in places where they were gone for a long time, restoring wet meadows and flooded forests, fighting illegal poaching with technology, to bringing back keystone species. All their work is funded by the community. I've been supporting them since 2018 and just recently started helping them film wildlife for some of their videos. If you wish to support their work, there is a link in the description that will take you to their website. Okay, so the final thing for today is to pick up the microphones. They are luckily still here waiting for us. So now we are gonna pick them up and slowly head to the car and, and also head home because this is our last day here and so our adventure is slowly coming to an end. So thank you so much for watching and see you next time.